Welcome to another Minecraft video. This video is in our realm with Chipotle Village and this is the basement of my house. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the Amethyst Cave and the beginning of the Bedrock Ballroom. It just says two colored glass outpost and Amethyst Cave and um, the houses of Cole Yeats and Lechman. Okay. So my goal with the Bedrock Ballroom is I wanted to go straight from my house and dig down all the way to Bedrock and make it very easy to get down there. And I pass through an amethyst cave on the way. So um, I made it so that you can look at the amethyst cave very easily. You already saw probably that there's a lot of amethyst in my house, which I do like because it makes pretty noises and it, it's very pretty. Um, this is part of the amethyst cave. It's actually quite big and there's at least two other entrances to get into it. And as you can see, it's just growing right out of the wall. When I first made this hallway, the amethyst crystals were only sticking out a tiny bit, and now it's sticking out a lot, and uh, it may end up covering the whole staircase, and then I'll have to go around it, I guess. So now we're going all the way down to bedrock, which you can recognize because it's got that neat black and white pattern. So, uh, as I'm sure you probably know, we can't mine this because it's bedrock. And uh, so it's the lowest thing in the world and we cannot mine it with anything. It's not like all at one layer. So sometimes it's at negative 59, sometimes it's at negative 60. Um, it goes down even a little bit below negative 60. In this realm it goes down to about negative 63. Like here, I'll show you an example right here. So now negative 62 is where I'm at and negative 63 is the lowest. And the places where it is not bedrock, I'm doing a couple things. I'm putting in white stone like calcite or polished diorite uh, because I like to lighten things up when I'm down in a cave, especially with so much deep slate and um, maybe it even ha helps the plants grow because it probably reflects light and makes the room lighter, which should make my wheat grow faster and, ooh, I just, oh yeah, and make my watermelons grow faster. Um, so in some places I'm putting down dirt instead of a white stone. Okay, so um, the goal here is to make this a really, really big bedrock room. Um, and this is just what I've got going on so far. Um, but I wanna make it really big um, with trees growing. And I also wanna make this kind of a hub that connects up to all of the other places above ground. So um, I started to, well, I've already connected it up to two different points because uh, that's something I really enjoy doing. So I'll show you where this goes. So now instead of going up to my house, we're going up towards the colored glass outpost and the farm. So if you keep going that way, you'll get to that hallway that goes to the farm. Okay, and then this is the current ceiling of the bedrock ballroom and I was trying to connect it up from the other way and uh, this is that stairs that we just came down. I do believe that we are very near a cave and that we are underneath a very large pool of water um, and I'll show you why if you listen really closely. Oh, did you hear that water just there? Found diamonds really close to here just a bit ago. Well, that was pretty exciting. I didn't even use the Find My Diamonds app, which I usually do use. So 
Can you hear that water? Let's go back down and around. I'm going to show you why I can tell we're under a pool of water. And I have an experiment that I want to do. Which has to do with water pressure that I'm going to do down here after I dig two pools. Okay, so here's how you tell. You're going to stand right here. Now we're going to leave and return. Okay, save and quit. The reason we're doing this is because when you first rejoin, you can see through the walls. And you'll see why I can tell we're underneath water. Okay, a cave too. See those glow squids? So that is a sign that we're not just under regular water, we're underneath water with glow squids, which as far as I've seen, it's, I've seen them a lot in underwater caves. So I think we're underneath an underwater cave. I'm just afraid I'm gonna dig into water. That's what's going on here. But I'm scared. If water comes down, I'm gonna freak. I really need to go look at my coordinates. Let's let's do this the smart way. Okay, so this is this here just so it's not too dark. All right, negative fifty-eight, negative fifty-two, negative twenty-one. Now we're gonna go around and try to connect up with this. I was trying to memorize the coordinates earlier. Not a good idea. Not too hard. Okay. So, negative 52 is the height we were at, and then negative 21 is that way. Okay, well, we can do that. Let me just. Okay, we're almost up my stairs. When you think about negative, a higher number is deeper. Okay, so now we are too high. We want to go down to negative 52. So we should be going through the ceiling here any second. If my calculations are correct. Okay, well now I'm at negative 20, so now I said negative 21. Okay. I think this is it. Okay, it is. Anyway, I'm going to hollow all this out. Anyway, most you can go all the way through now. Okay. Um, so what else? What are some things I've done down here? Redstone. Um, diamonds that I hid. And um, let's go back up and look at... Oh, wait. I'm going to put away my valuables before we go in the amethyst cave. Because there's knobs in there. New. I'm going to put away all the good stuff. I can have a couple torches. I don't want most of my tools. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm preparing to die. <laughs> Two loaves of bread. Six torches. Axe. Shovel. Sword. It really should be plenty. Okay, now let's go see if we can go in the amethyst cave. So I'm not going to go by the door that I open and we go in a different door just to show you. The 
these cages all the way up here. Let's get our sword and our bow and let's eat some bread. part of the amethyst cave. I have no idea how extensive this is. Oh, and that's the other stairs down to the amethyst cave. So as you can see, this goes, okay, so I came that way. I'm going to go back up this way. So there's two doors into the amethyst cave. And uh, I'm real chicken, so I haven't fully explored it yet. So it's big. See, it's, it's up there, and it's all the way down here. So, um, pretty neat. So, um, anyway. Oh, there's the amethyst cave, and the beginning of the bedrock. The bow room is down here. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.